Telex from Geneva, sir, confirming Farley's replacement. What? They arrived last night. Late. This is ridiculous. Get him down here. Well, he's gone, sir. Well, his bed's not been slept in. I thought you must have known. What do you mean, recalled? Surely you knew. Had noticed. This is the first I've heard of it. Well, there's obviously been a most ghastly slip-off. Obviously. If it's any comfort, there's an excellent replacement on his way. Look, I want Peter Farley back here. Is that understood? All this has been arranged by the Director of Coordinations. Then pop into his room. I'm afraid that's not possible. He's at Heathrow on his way to Innsbruck. Of course, if he should get in touch with us here... I'll get him to ring you straight away. Yes, do that. Thanks for lending me this, Madge. Any good, sir? Oh, quite useful, yes. So, what are you doing with yourself these days? Keeping you busy, are we? Hmm? This and that, sir. We're just tidying up, really. Seen anything of young Andy lately? Hardly, sir. He's been suspended, hasn't he? Quite so. I'm rather busy. Is it important? Yes. Just wait a second, then. Get that telex to Geneva. Priority. Right. Right, sit yourself down, then. So, what's with you? I want out. Leave here. Do you know? A bit sudden, isn't it? Maybe. I'd have said so. I'd have said something like this needed a lot of careful consideration, wouldn't you? I know what's going on. Oh. So what is going on? We're being used. Used? For what? And by whom? The work we're doing. Is what you wanted to do. So what about it? You've got the brightest science kids in the country here. Well, those we find, select and give a wonderful opportunity to. What you set us to do? The challenges. The only way someone like you can learn. And a good way of you finding out. I'm working on subatomic particles. Why, well, you know. Of course, I leave that sort of detail to your tutors. You know what could be made of that work. No, I don't. Tell me. If it came out right, if I finished it, you'd have the theoretical basis for constructing a bomb. The most powerful ever. Is that true? You know it. I didn't. Look, Martin, there's one or two things I'd like you to think about. One, any scientific advance can be used for good or for bad. You find a way of making very tough steel, and you give them the world a smashing carving knife or armor plating for a tank. It's a choice. But it's someone else's, not yours, not mine. Do you understand that? My job, Falcon is, is to give you space and time for your thought, your pure thought. That's all. But that's not all! There's the new building. Did you break in there last night, Martin? No. I didn't break in anywhere. Well, then, the new building. Frances Green, one of the girls, you know her, was working on lasers. We helped. She needed equipment. We provided it. But the work went very wrong, so we stopped it. There's nothing going on in there now, Martin. If you don't believe me, ask her. What's the point? You'll have got it, sir. Look, I think this is getting a bit silly, don't you? I've given you plenty of time. I'm still going. You do want out, don't you? I won't be used. And I take it you've thought about what you'll be going back to. That nonsense of a school. 
cloud of a maths master. The ruin of all your bright promise. Better than here. I'm sorry you think that. Well, I'm not the only one either. Oh, who else? Sue Kleiner. Ah, I wouldn't build too many hopes on her if I were you. She's leaving with me. Let's send for her and find out, shall we? I don't know where else to go. Cheerio, mate. Barry. What? Not thinking of leaving, are you? Because before you do, I think we should have a little chat. What about? Your kid brother. Now, Sue, Martin here says you